Hey guys, welcome back for another quick episode. Now this episode isn't RC related, but it's aviation related. And if you know me, there's two planes I really love. First is the Sea Fury, obviously. Uh, and then second is the Zero. And so I wanted to, it's kind of a Christmas present gift to myself. I went and bought this Hobbymaster 148 scale uh, Zero. Uh, the model number is HA. 8807 and it was uh, I was going to go and take it out of the box and uh, you know get it all set up and you can see it behind me uh, and I was like hey let's just film it uh, and I actually checked YouTube first I was like there's no videos on this one there's a there's a handful of Hobby Master 148 videos out there but um, I was like hey I'm going to open the box anyway so let's film it and uh, let you guys see this model this model is really highly detailed. Um, it actually, it's die cast metal and it weighs 13 and a half ounces. Uh, it's unbelievable how heavy this thing is. Uh, it looks beautiful. So let's, uh, let's go ahead, zoom in, <clears throat> watch me open the box and you'll watch me actually fiddle around trying to figure out what goes where. Uh, and there's still one piece that I, and I'm still not sure where it goes. Uh, so if, um, when I point that out, go ahead and <laughs> let me know in the comments uh, where this piece goes. But uh, I took a lot of great pictures, so in case you were interested in this HA-8807, you can get some really nice close-up views of it. And uh, it's a zero, so I wanted to show it off, and uh, it looks beautiful. So it belongs on this channel. So uh, let's go ahead and zoom in on the box and see what it's like. Here's the box from the Hobbymaster 148th scale zero fighter pretty uh standard box here just showing you all the corners as you see with a lot of these uh smaller models uh the opening flap is held on with Velcro, so you can kind of see the insides without having to. Uh, if you didn't want to actually open it and leave it in the box, you can still kind of see it without uh, opening the whole package. So here we go, opening. Uh, this is a really neat uh, uh, Zero. It's modeled after a, a very popular uh, Japanese pilot, Saburo Sakai, and he was one of the really most popular Japanese uh, aces uh, during World War II, and in fact, there was an incident where he actually fired on uh, the B-26 that uh, President-to-be Lyndon B. Johnson was in, uh, but uh, he didn't uh, take it out, and that plane landed safely. Um, but he was a really he has a lot. Of, I think uh, 24 or 28 actual accredited kills. Uh, but in his biography, he claims it, that number is higher, like around 64 ish. So really cool guy. Uh, after the war, he became a Buddhist and vowed never to uh, take part in any war again. And actually became friends with uh, a lot of the people he. Uh, fought against uh, in the air. So really cool guy. And this is his zero. So here is the model out of the box and I just uh, cut the four, four edges of tape. And if we zoom in here, we will see uh, all the, the different pieces. And it's funny, I, I tried to pull it out and couldn't and what it is is it's actually secured in there very nice right in front of the leading edge of both wings there's like a uh, like an indentation in the plastic and you can right where my right thumb is and you can you push on that and you can see that kind of loosened that wing and I did the same and that loosens the plane to come out so when you take this out and right now I'm realizing holy holy crap this thing is heavy like I said earlier it's 13 and a half ounces 
die cast metal it's it's very heavy it's it's unbelievable how heavy it is considering uh, it's about around a 10 inch wingspan so i went and found a, a cloth uh, to put this on and i realized okay let's put it on the edge so we don't uh, hit the propellers. I find a piece of uh, nicer foam to use later on in the video. But as I'm taking these pieces out, those are the extended landing gear if you want to uh, display it uh, on its gear. And there's a pilot and um, there's uh, two tail wheels. There's a, a retracted tail wheel and in the zero, uh, when the gears are up, the tail wheel is actually just kind of folded back. It's still out in the open, and it's, but it's like folded straight back. And that's the one I just uh, uh, took out there. And then you have this package here that's actually divided into four sections. Uh, one is the landing gear covers for when you want to display the model with the gear up. And the other one is uh, the fuel tank or bomb. I believe it's a fuel tank, actually. And uh, one is the antennas. And the other one is a filler for the, the stand piece. And here I'm taking apart the, the stand, putting it together, taking it out of the bag. Some people might see this and uh, look like, why is it blue? Um, and, and it's actually, I think the goal was to have it uh, blue gray and uh, did, doing a little research. Uh, there was one thing I just realized that there is a huge amount of um, commentary about what the actual colors of the zeros were in World War II. And so <clears throat> if you're at all interested in that, um, there's a lot of info out there. And it, I guess it's really not really sure. But um what I did find out is that the the gray zeros um, had this uh, coating to prevent the uh, corrosion on the metal, and it, it had a little bit of blue in it. So when they found some planes that had been uh, exposed to ultraviolet light, they kind of turned it <clears throat> bluish a little bit. So I think the goal with this paint was to go like a gray blue. So. But um, it's really exciting to see uh, so much research going into the colors of Zeros. Uh, so if you're at all interested, it's not hard to find a lot of this good information out there. It's really cool. You know, people, the, the, the scale modelers love this stuff. And, you know, reading some of these articles about all the different color swatches and everything it's it's pretty crazy i get i get excited about um servo programming some people get excited about exactly what color their models are so that's that's awesome so what you saw here is i put on the landing gear they just kind of put pressure fit in the place and right there i just put in the tail gear uh, i'm going to display this with the wheels down for now and what you'll notice on top of these two landing gears one there's a l stamped and the other one there's an r stamped so you can tell which one is the left which one is the right Now that little blue piece I'm picking up, um, it looks kind of like, actually in this shot, it looks like a butterfly. It's 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 a shiny blue to match the undercarriage. I am, that is the piece that I am not sure where it goes. Um, you can see me putting the fuel tank in. External uh, fuel tank. See that blue in the wheel wells? That's the same blue as that that butterfly piece that I'm not sure where it goes. And the canopy, the middle section comes off. It's a barely pressure fit into there. It came right off very easily. And you can take the pilot and just set him in there. You do have to work him around a little bit to get his legs all the way down in there. You can see me trying to kind of fiddle, uh, but he gets in there just fine.
So we go to the bag, and um, now what I was doing was looking at <clears throat> run to the bag now to get the antenna. And what I was looking at there was I know where this main radio antenna goes. It kind of goes through the cockpit, and where the hole is in the cockpit doesn't really line up well with the hole that's underneath. And so I was sitting there trying to figure out how to get this in there, and. Um, I'm not sure if the rear portion of the canopy is supposed to come off. Um, I actually found that that little tool, uh, you placing it in the hole where the antenna goes through, uh, popped it up. And actually, there is uh, there was some glue on the tabs there, so I'm kind of thinking it's not supposed to come off. But I I don't see how you would put that antenna in there. Um, without it because I figured I would put the antenna in and then put the canopy uh, back on over so that's what I ended up doing and it, even though there was some glue in there it goes the rear portion of the canopy goes right back on So for this video, I'm not going to uh, show you installing the gear doors for the gear up uh, uh, situation. Uh, so I will, uh, there's one of the pictures I have a really zoomed in shot of the gear doors on, um, but it's pretty straightforward. You pull the extended gear off and you clip the gear doors on uh, very easy. Here you can see I'm putting the cockpit back together and the pilot goes back in just fine. There's that uh, tail wheel that's fully extended uh, backwards to represent gear up. So there's that, uh, that gear up tail wheel. Uh, there's another shot of it right there. So the pieces that are left <clears throat> Um, I was wondering, in the package, there are actually four antenna, and they look like they're just two of uh, the same. So one of them is the main antenna that comes out of the rear of the cockpit. And from everything I can tell, there is one that kind of comes straight down from the cowling, and uh, there's a hole there, and I couldn't get it to fit very well, um, but that's where that other small antenna goes. And here you go. Uh, putting it on the base. There's a nice big hole in the bottom for uh, to receive the stand and then the kind of It kind of uh, extends around the exter external fuel tank and you can see that antenna right there coming out of the cowl So this is again this butterfly shaped piece. I don't know where that goes that square piece is to fill up the um, the, the the display stand uh, insert and then you can see there was the extended tail wheel so that's all we got guys thanks for tuning in i'm excited to to be able to admire this plane i'm actually going to look for a display stand for it or a case so it doesn't get dusty because uh i don't want to have to be dusting this every once in a while but hey i i saw this i thought you guys would like to see this i thought some people would look up this model and want to see some close-up pictures so thanks for tuning in and let's get some more rc stuff in uh in a few days thanks guys